Greetings, YouTube. We're here doing some network testing and we're here at the Tangle Outlets in National Harbor doing some testing for today and it's a crowded Sunday. Looking pretty good. I wanted to catch the networks while they're under, under stress. And so we got on today, we got uh, T-Mobile is on the left and Verizon is on the right hand side. And a little bit more of a nerdy deep dive. So T-Mobile here is on the left with a uh, RSRP value of 70, negative 71. So that means their antenna is pretty close. I just don't know where exactly where it's at. Um, there, on this one, the anchor band is the 100 megahertz block because they only go up as high as 100 megahertz chunks. And 90 megahertz of N41 as a secondary band and 10 megahertz of uh, N25. So this is what T-Mobile is working with at this location. And Verizon is working with band two, 15 megahertz. And I think that antenna, uh, building antenna, so it's on top of the building directly in front of me, is their, their site because that's negative 66 RSRP. And I don't think they're aggregating anything just yet, but we need to hit it with some data to find out. So speed test. Speed test. We hit it some data. Verizon is giving us band two fifteen. T Mobile is giving us the full complement. N41 right now and N25. Verizon is giving us let's go back one. Sorry about that. Verizon is giving us band 66, 10 megahertz. N77, 100. Looking good. Along with band 2, 15 megahertz. So I made a mistake earlier. I was on the wrong band select. The RSRP values are looking pretty good and that was band 66, 10 megahertz, RSRP value is negative 62. So yeah, that's most definitely their site. And Gonna pull up fast. So we, we're looking for the potential of what we can do, and then we're gonna see what we're restricted to. So So right now, to be able to do 4K video, we need to have 25 megabits per second. So obviously T-Mobile is giving us way more than that, 520. Verizon is giving us 370. What was the speed test? 907. So the speed test was 907. 
and then for T-Mobile was 497. So we're getting less than what we're projecting. So that means uh, Verizon's doing a lot of network managing. From what I could tell, we're only getting 370 megabits per second and not the full range of what the, what the uh, access that we're seeing. Do imperv. Go. I'm letting it automatically choose. So this one's pulling from Miami. That one's pulling from New York. I should start doing these videos with um, them roughly on the same server. Hindsight's 2020. I got a couple of more minutes of daylight. I wanted to see what the uh, networks look like. We're on the 360p test. Both of them about 26%, no, 96% at 360p. Uh, T-Mobile's edging it out a little bit. 98.2 to 98.09. Dude, this, the points don't really matter as much. I'm looking for full swings, and then we didn't see that there. So 508 down. Uh, 64 up, 55 millisecond ping. Same thing for Verizon, 1.3 gigs at 127 day uh, up and 27 millisecond ping. So let's see how much restriction Verizon is giving us. Four K sixty. Four K sixty. All right. So what we need is video quality. There we're currently at seven twenty p. We need to go advance. Now here's the test. Take it and jump. They both came out of roughly about the same. So their access is pretty good. We're going to scrub through and drop. Both of them look good. So they're pulling 4K video. So they're both full in 4K video, which is good. And responsiveness is very good. So the next thing to do is to see if all that speed that Verizon was showing us is gonna actually matter. PUBG. Let me move the search on this. PUBG. Install over the network in three, two, one, go. All right, so T-Mobile jumped out ahead, uh, 39 to 22 um, T-Mobile, 72 to 56 T-Mobile, and done.
So T-Mobile actively is network managing a lot better and, and giving a little bit more of the beans that they're showing. Uh, Verizon is showing a lot, but not giving a lot from the looks of it. So it has another test gambit to go through against AT&T. So let's, let's, we'll give it, it's basically two hits per cell company that we're given. But as you can see, they both downloaded it pretty fast. The network access is not shabby, but it's not sh indicative to what they're showing. So Verizon was showing like 900 plus and the video was good, but they're doing some active network managing on the back end and it's starting, it's really showing. It's, with that much data throughput, I should have been blazing ahead T-Mobile in the download test, but they're, they're looking pretty solid. Thank y'all for watching. Y'all uh, like, share, and subscribe to the video. And y'all have a good one.